Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I wanted to share a few of my 2020 favourites. A lot of these products I have used throughout the year and have been my favourite sort of ones, my go-tos. They aren't all necessary products that have been released in 2020 but they're things that I have been using the most and loving the most. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I also wanted to do a video just so I can keep track and look back at it and everything. I think it's a really cool idea just to kind of look back at the end of next year and see what products I use this year the most and see how much it varies in years to come and everything as well. I don't know why I move my hands so much, just what I'm doing. But okay let's get started a few of these products are Colourpop because I did discover Colourpop well I discovered Colourpop a long time ago but I actually bought from them first this year it was during lockdown and everything and I realised you could actually buy from the UK and get it sent so of course I was in there I've done maybe three or four orders since and we always make sure we do like big hauls and stuff because it's worth getting the money from that way as well if you live in the UK and you haven't managed to buy any Colourpop stuff yet definitely check it out and maybe split the shipping or split costs with a friend and everything because they do Ship to the UK and you can pay taxes at the checkout, you know? Anyway, so the first product I'm going to talk about is the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturiser and Foundation. Both these products I absolutely love. They're both really nice shades on me and they just look really nice on the skin. They're nice and lightweight and nice and dewy and glowy but without being too over the top or anything. It's just quite a nice moisturising foundation. So these ones are definitely in my top. 10 at least, top two I'd say, it's probably the top two I've got going, okay? And then another foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain and it matches me really nicely too. This is what I'm wearing today. And I just think it's such a nice foundation, it lasts a really nice time, it doesn't feel like heavy or tacky on the skin or anything after a while, it just looks really nice and lasts a really nice time during the day as well, so I really like this one. I also absolutely love the Colourpop no filter setting powder in translucent. I've absolutely used this one up and I do have a backup one that I have got in my cupboard. The same with the moisturizers. Well, I actually bought a backup one of this just so I would always have them because I really like them. This is the first sort of year, I have used setting powders before, but this is the first sort of year that I have used setting powders like properly or with the intent of actually using setting powder. So this is one of the first sort of ones I've used in quite a while and I really like it. So it might just be a generic setting powder, I do not know, but I really like this one anyway. Another Colourpop product is the Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. Actually, this is a little mini one, but I have used quite a lot of it. I really like it. Once again, it doesn't feel tacky or anything in the skin. It doesn't feel sticky. It just feels really nice and hydrating, and it looks so good with the setting powder as well. Actually, when you put this on and then you spray this on top, it just looks magic. It just melts in. It looks so good. It just really comes to life with this setting mist. Okay, eyeshadows. I have the Sandstone palette from Colourpop. This one was just a favourite of mine this year. I bought it just because I really like the overall like shades and tones that are in there. And I did start by using a lot of the brown shades. But I have kind of dipped in and used the shimmers and the colours a lot more than I thought I was going to. Seeing as I do tend to stick to very like brown, rust tones. Like I believe even a cool brown or something like that eyeshadows. So this was definitely one to experiment with and really play with. I prefer matte eyeshadows as well, but this one was really nice to dip into and get some of those shimmers and everything. I do have it on my eyes today. I've just gone in with some of these darker shades and then put the black glitter over the top too, and I really like how it turned out. So yeah, I really like this one. I do have a few other Colourpop eyeshadow palettes, but this is one of my favourites this year. And then a new favourite, I have been seeing it for a while on the internet and stuff but I didn't really get around to buying it until recently. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadow palette. This one is in Cream and Sugar, and this is definitely my favourite one out of the ones I have. I just think the shimmers are a lot more shimmery, they're really nice and glistening on the lid, and the mattes go really nice too. This one I love using as a powdered eyeliner. It looks so nice, it just has a lot of pigment and everything to it, whereas I find that some of the other ones don't have as much pigment in their matte shades, but this one is really nice. So if you're looking for one, which is a really basic eyeshadow palette, it's only three pound, I'd say give this one a go. And then on to lips, I have two favorite lip liners here. I've definitely been wearing a lot of lip liners this year, and matte lipsticks, shiny lipsticks, lip glosses and everything. Lipsticks are one of my favourite things. I say lipsticks, foundations and mascaras. I definitely have a lot more lipsticks than I have any other products but they're so easy and you can definitely wear them to like transform your look. You could have this eyeshadow on and change up your lipstick and it can make it completely different. So I really like collecting lipsticks and everything. But anyway, these are my favourite products. This is the Milani Colour Statement Lip Liner in 04 All Natural. It's just a really nice nude shade for me and I just really 
like it. It's just a really nice, It when you overline your lips, it looks real. It doesn't look darker than your lips or anything. Obviously, this is on my lips at the moment, so it varies depending on your skin tone. But always, that is a really nice one. If you do have pale skin, it might match you too. And then, of course, I have a ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This one is in BFF2. I got this one in the 10 pack, which they had released for like the Black Friday, Cyber Week type thing. And I had been using a lot of different shades and I'm mixing around wearing them. And then I put this one on and it matched my lip tone. It's slightly more pink than the other one, but it matched my skin tone and my lip tone so perfectly that I thought this is the one, this is the one for me. This is my BFF for me. This is what it fits perfectly for my lip. So yeah, I'm definitely going into one. I have sharpened this one as well, actually. This is the first one I sharpened and they do sharpen really easily. So yeah, this is another favourite. And then I actually have some lip products. So this first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk. I got this one in one of her like mystery box type things. There was one for like £15. And it is so pretty. I didn't really use that much to start off with, but it is a really nice like glistening. Like it's a lipstick, but it's shiny enough that it looks pretty and reflective but it's not too slippy on your lips or anything it is a really nice formula and i really like this one and i really like the color of it as well pillow talk is slightly nude but it has a slightly like almost like purple undertone to it which is really nice and it matches my bff lipstick quite well too i do have another charlotte tilbury lip product this is the collagen lip bath in peachy plump i just really like using this one to actually put on before i go to bed like I use it almost as a lip balm and I find in the morning my lips look really nice and smooth, really nice and not say plump, but just naturally plump. They really nice and smoothed out, they look really filled and everything. So this is one I actually put on before bed. I don't usually use it as a lip gloss during the day, but it is a really nice one for that too. This liquid lip is a special mention because I love this one. I haven't worn it too much, but that is because it is a very dark brown colour, but I love it nonetheless. This one smells so good. This is the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick Le Chocolat L'Oreal Paris Truffamania and it smells so good, it smells like chocolate chocolate cake, chocolate brownies chocolate biscuits, it smells so good and I just love this one and it goes a really nice colour on your lip as well it just looks so nice, I love how it once again can transform an eye look this one is really nice this is the only eye product that I have which isn't a eyeshadow I obviously do use eyebrow products, eyeliners and all that stuff but I don't really have one that's been an absolute favourite this year this one is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara I have used this one in previous years but I have just bought it again this year but it is one of my favourites I make. I think it just makes my lashes look so nice so nice and long, so nice and black and thick and everything I do have it on now and I just think it holds so nicely when you're wearing a mask, if your eyes are watering or anything it doesn't smudge or like crinkle and like anything anywhere you know so I really like this one this year as well I have really been into like cream cheek cream blushes, that's what you call it I've been really into cream blushes this is the Nude Sticks nudies all over face colour in Naughty and Spice. You just wind this one up and put it onto your face and just blend it out with your beauty blender, even just your fingers or something, and it looks really nice. This is a really nice shade. I love this one on me as well. I definitely want to buy more in the future, but they are quite expensive. It's like £28, I think, for these. So I'll have to do a bit more research into what actual shade I want next before I just buy one for the sake of it, because they are quite pricey for that. And then this one is, I think it's called Color Your Own or Create Your Own. I don't think the brand exists anymore. You could get it from Boots, but it's not online anymore. I did get it in an online sale when these were going really cheap. I think I got this like £1.50 or something. I got a few different things at the same time. I got a foundation, a bronzer, and a few eyeshadows. But this one is in Only Words, and I love this one again. Like I said, I've been really into wearing cream blushes this year. I've been putting it on for my powder or anything. I just think it makes it look much more melted into your face, more natural, more just like glowing from within, rather than just a straight powder on top, because a lot of time it can look quite matte or just one dimensional whereas this really makes your cheeks look like 3D you know gives me a bit of plump to it another blush again is the Milani Luminoso blush I've been hearing about this one for years I've been meaning to buy it and this year I finally did buy it and I absolutely love it I've got this one on again today and it's such a pretty shade it's got a bit of shimmer to it a bit of gold shimmer I think but it is just so nice it's so universal it is like a peachy gold almost. It has a gold shimmer in it. It's a really nice peachy colour and it's just really pretty. It's definitely my go-to. I wear this like every single day now and I really, really like it. 
so I'd recommend this one for anybody. I am going to look at some of their other blushes because they do a different one. This is the Baked Blush in Luminoso. They do a few different blushes and also like bronzes and highlighters and stuff as well. So I'm looking at getting some of those as well. It's just a case of when I actually have the money and seeing it with I actually want it or do I need it? Do I really need any of this stuff? Another cheek product which is from Colourpop is their Super Shock Cheek Witch Highlighters. And they are so pretty. I love these so much. They're very sort of like a creamy, cushiony sort of formula. They're so soft to the touch. And the highlights are just blinding. They're so pretty. Obviously, depending how you put them on, you can build them up. But you can easily put it on with your finger as well to get a really nice shine. Or if you use a brush or a fan brush or something just to disperse the product a bit better. And it has a really nice wet look to it. And they do them in quite a few shades. I've definitely put too much on this side. But they do them in quite a few different shades as well. I have got it in Flexitarian, Seismic and Lunch Money. These two came in a set with some eyeshadows. And then this one is really pretty. I think this is part of their taupe collection. But this one is so pretty. It's a lot more glitchy than the others. But it's just so pretty and reflective and just shiny and shimmery and glittery it is so nice i absolutely love these i would definitely say about looking into ColourPop and buying a big haul at the same time when you spend over 60 dollars, i think you get free international shipping and then you just pay for the vat or taxes at the checkout as well so you know exactly what you pay for you paid for it all in one go you can easily do it if you split it with friends or family or something i usually split mine with my sister so we pick a few things out each and then just divide it by how much it all adds up to be you know but it's definitely worth it because you do get some really nice products from them and it's just pretty pretty stuff okay and then finally the last two things i have to talk about are the morphe continuous setting mists i love these i got this one first and it's so nice this is the i think it's just the sweet peach one and then this is the mattifying one but they're both so nice i love the nozzle and the spray on these they are really, really nice. I haven't tried all of them and the scents are different in most of them or whether it's a matte one or like a wet look one, you know, dewy, that's the word. But otherwise, these are really, really nice. So I'd recommend to try these out if you're looking for a really good setting spray. These are both in smaller sizes, I believe. I don't know if this is a full size one, I can't remember. But otherwise, there is quite a lot you get in there. And then this is the mini one. And it does last quite a long time as well. So I say check these out if you can. Okay, so that is all of my favourites for 2020. This isn't the complete list. I did have a bigger list than this. And I just crossed a few off because I thought this is what I use most often. Rather than these are my favourite products. They're definitely products that I reach for. But I know that I could probably get something much better. And I'm on the search for that. Like with bronzers and stuff. There are a few bronzers that I really like. But I am looking for one which absolutely is like perfect. And just blows me away. So that's why I didn't put any on my list list this time but anyway yeah these are all products that i recommend to people to buy as well so this is why i thought i'd put it to my favorites whereas some of the other products i wouldn't thank you so much for watching hopefully you liked today's video let me know what sort of products you've been using this year what was your favorite or anything that you recommend for me to try in 2021 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next year i guess bye what's another favorite of mine is my dog tilly hello say hello without going on. Peachy plump. I really... Whoops-a-daisy.